Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Positive Profit, the YouTube show and podcast where we help you learn how to start and grow your own natural dog treat business. Hey friends, this is Kara Brothers, your host and treat coach. And today we're diving into a topic that is critical for all of you who run your own dog treat bakeries. We're going to unmask some deceptive practices in the dog treat industry, and I want you to be aware of them. We're going to discuss how this information can also help you communicate the value of your own treats to your customers. Whether you use all natural ingredients or a mix, this episode will provide insights that can benefit your business. Let's get started. Recently, there's been a lot of buzz in our Dog Tree Baker Facebook group about a top-selling dog treat bakery on TikTok that's marketing their products as limited all-natural treats with no additives. However, a closer look reveals that they're just selling bulk treats containing ingredients like corn syrup and dried bakery product. This has sparked some outrage among dog owners, and as bakers, we understand these practices, and it helps us to better position our own products in the market. So let's break down why this is significant. First, let's talk about the dried bakery product in the room. What is it? What is that? And why should we be cautious about it? Dried bakery product is actually a byproduct that is made from unsold baked goods like bread, cookies, and other items which are processed and then repurposed into animal feed. And here's why it can be problematic. The nutritional content of dried bakery products can vary significantly, often being lower in essential nutrients compared to fresh whole food ingredients. And there's also limited control over what goes into these bakery items, which means they can contain artificial colors, flavors, preservatives, and other additives that might not be ideal for pets. Some baked goods might contain harmful ingredients to dogs, such as chocolate or excessive sugar. Now, while these should be filtered out, the risk remains. Understanding these points can help you educate your customers why your treats are a better option and justify the price difference using higher quality ingredients. Now let's discuss other common unhealthy ingredients found in mass-produced dog treats and their implications. Common unhealthy ingredients in mass-produced dog treats include corn syrup. What is it? It's a type of sugar that's derived from cornstarch used as a sweetener. Why is it used? It enhances flavor and increases palatability. And what the health risks are is it contains high sugar, it's got a really high sugar content, and it can lead to obesity, diabetes, and dental issues in dogs. Artificial colors, what are they? Synthetic dyes used to make treats visually appealing. Why they're used? to attract pet owners with bright colors. Health risks. They are linked to allergic reactions and hyperactivity in pets. Long-term consumption may contribute to more serious health issues. Preservatives. What are they? Chemicals added to prevent spoiling. That being said, I'm talking about chemical preservatives, okay? Why they're used? To extend the shelf life of the treat and reduce waste. Some preservatives have health risks associated with them, like liver and kidney damage and other health concerns. Fillers. What are they? Low-cost ingredients like corn, soy, and wheat that are used to add bulk to the treat. Why are they used? To reduce production costs. And the health risks can include causing digestive issues and allergic reactions, contributing to a nutritionally imbalanced diet. Animal byproducts. What are they? You probably know. Parts of the animal that are not typically consumed by humans. Why they're used? They're a cheaper protein source. The health risks. Now, I know some of you use animal byproducts, chicken feet, or do you I don't use any of these, so I'm just having to remember but 
here's where the issue is with animal byproducts. And it has to do with quality. The quality can vary widely and they may include less digestible and less nutritious parts. By understanding these ingredients, you can make informed decisions about what to include in your treats and explain to your customers why you choose to avoid certain additives. Let's talk about the importance of ingredient transparency and how you can set your business apart. As bakers, it is crucial to know and communicate what goes into our treats. Ingredients should be listed in order of predominance by weight. And whether you choose to use all natural ingredients or a mix, it's important to be aware of the potential risks of artificial additives and preservatives. Educate your customer why you've chosen your ingredients. High quality dog treats should contribute to a dog's overall nutrition. Highlight the benefits of the ingredients that you use and be transparent with your customers. Transparency builds trust. So when you're talking about your ingredient choices with them, explain the rationale behind them. Customers really appreciate honesty and they're more likely to remain loyal to a brand that they trust. One way that you can communicate the transparency in your treats, if you're at an event, build a small slim binder that you have in your ingredients in, what the ingredients are. That way customers can flip it open and see right there. Now let's go over some actionable steps that you can take to improve your business and communicate the value of your treats to your customers. You can refine and review your ingredient list Take a close look at the ingredients that you use in your treat. Are there any that can be improved or replaced with healthier ingredients? Consider making small changes that enhance the nutritional value of your product. And educate your customers. Use your social media platforms, your website, and even your packaging to educate your customers about the ingredients that you use. Share posts about the benefits of certain ingredients and the risks of others. Gosh, a whole post could be on each ingredient. That would be so easy. Transparency is going to help you build trust and loyalty with your customers. You can also create informative content, develop blog posts, which will really help your website, videos, or even infographics that explain common ingredients in dog treats and their impact on health. This can position you as really knowledgeable in the field and provide valuable information to your customers and offer ingredient transparency like we talked about. Make it easy for customers to see what's in your treat. Provide clear, detailed ingredient lists and explain why you choose certain ingredients. This can help differentiate you from mass-produced options and engage with your community. Encourage your customers to ask questions, get the conversation going, and share their concerns about ingredients. Be responsive and open to feedback. This engagement can help you better understand your customers' needs and preferences and highlight your unique selling points. Identify what makes your treat special, whether it's the use of organic ingredients, a specific baking method, or even a commitment to avoiding certain additives. Make sure your customer know what sets you apart. Provide samples and testimonials. Offering samples of your treats to potential customers, if you're allowed to, and really encourage them to share their feedback with you about them. Positive testimonials, as we know, can be a very powerful tool in building credibility and trust and stay informed. Keep up to date with industry trends and new research on pet nutrition. Stay tuned to our episodes as we present this information to you as well. This knowledge can really help you make informed decisions about your products and stay ahead of the competition. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode on unmasking deceptive practices in the dog tree industry. As bakers, we have a responsibility to provide safe, healthy treats for your customers' dogs. By understanding these issues and being transparent about our ingredients, we can build trust and differentiate our products in the market. If you found this episode helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell for notifications. Subscribe to our podcast. 
If you want more tips on running a successful dog treat bakery. Until next time, happy baking and don't forget to treat yourself well.